All right, everybody. I'm very happy to tell you that our Courtney Corbetta is a proud alumnus of Grand Island High School. And you know what? She recently went back to school for AM Buffalo to check in on a special show the students themselves are staging. You don't even do anything related to birds. Memorizing lines, blocking scenes, and learning choreography. That's what the members of Grand Island Senior High School's Drama Club Spotlighters has been up to the past few months as they prepare for their upcoming spring production. But this production is like no other. It's the first time we've ever had on our stage in, well, it would be almost 50 years that our students have written a full-length production that's being produced on our stage. When he says cue the music, you I grab lunch him, you lunge him over, and you guys make that circle down. Senior Sam Sommer is the first student to both write and produce a show at the high school. I've always loved writing. I it's always like it's always been a passion of mine along with theater. And I just had this idea that I just would like to actually create a show, and I asked Miss Kennedy to Produce a, produce a show. The play is called Super Zeros, a comedic twist on the everyday lives of a group of superheroes. After writing the first draft in just two days, Sam looked to a friend for help. Near the like later stages of the process, I worked with my friend Lennon Harper, who plays Keymaster in the show. And honestly, if you want to thank anyone, just thank him because he wrote a lot of the jokes in here. <laughs> And that's where senior Lennon Harper comes in, because what's a superhero story without a villain? He tells us about his character and what makes this show unique. He's evil, but I don't think he knows exactly how to do the whole villain thing. And I'd say his fashion sense is kind of questionable. This one has been really different for me just because it's something that we've written and it's been like a real collaborative effort. Like every actor and everyone just added something to it that was their own. Both students have been performing in Spotlighters throughout their high school careers, but Sommers plans to pursue a life in theater after senior year. The atmosphere is, it's just love all around. I did a performance of Rent and everyone there was just a big family and it really affected me and it made me want to do theater for the rest of my life. I always wanted to see how the other side works instead of always being on stage. And it's been really cool. It's been a really interesting experience. In 1972, Magdalene Miller Kennedy was hired to be the Spotlighter's advisor. In her 45 years at the high school, this is the first time students are running a production. Well, last year in the spring, Sam said to me, are, you, are we able to do anything if I write a show? And I said, why, well, yes, we could do something. And then I said, well, we'll get a chance. We'll take a look at it and see what you'd like to do. And I really said, you're really on your own. And I really let him direct. They did all the casting. He's done all the directing. He's worked on character formation with them. He actually made them write backstories for their characters and turn them into him as assignments. So Sam has really gone far and above what I would have expected for the students when he was having them write their backstories for their characters. So make sure to prepare yourself for an hour and a half of laughter and get ready to experience some action-packed scenes. It's full of comedy. It's quite enjoyable. Sam also worked on having some fight scenes, so stage combat. And so I think it would be entertaining for anyone from age five up. Oh, I think Sam and Lennon have done a wonderful job. I'm very proud of them as seniors that they've taken that they've taken their time to write a show, to direct a show, and been part of Spotlighters and really took everything out at the end of the year and made it their own. But it all comes back to Sommer's love of theater. And looking to the future, he hopes student-run productions become a tradition at Grand Island. It's really cool from a writing standpoint because I've always been writing for so long. Like if you look at my drawer, you'll see endless supplies of stories. It's really cool to see characters that you've created come to life on stage. And it's just really amazing to watch. I would love for this to keep happening because I know that so many students are, especially here, are so creative and they're willing to show people what they're made of. And I hope that this could continue on with this program. 
Performances are scheduled for March 30th, 31st, and April 1st here at Grand Island High School. No need to purchase your tickets, but donations are greatly appreciated and will go towards the Drama Club for upcoming productions. Courtney Corbetta, AM Buffalo. Isn't that cool? The kids wrote it, they're directing it, they're starring in it, and they think it's going to be a great tradition for Grand Island to keep doing that. Talk about talented kids right here in western New York. See, there's a lot of good news out there, especially coming from our youth. Gotta love it. Thank you, Courtney. Listen, all last...